Oh! Why are you smiling? Oh, what did you do? Hello, everybody. Fruits Basket episode 18. Let's begin. If you have not already, make sure you like and subscribe, comment at the end of the video. Now let's begin. I'm assuming that Yuki's going to... Oh, does he not want to? Oh. Oh. More what? What's up with the real him? Did he really do something to Kyo that's like real fucking dirty? What's wrong? Oh! Why is he soaking? Oh, it was raining. Oh, okay. Uh oh. Nope. That's somebody. She! Ooh! Her bites hurt. Bite! Girl! Girl! Oh no! Oh! Now. Oh, is this one of the little kids? It's a really small tiger. It might be one of those kids that's from the opening. What? Lock away all her words. Oh. Oh no, Toru's gonna heal you. To Toru's gonna help this family so much. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, like homeboy, Snake, with the weather. Bitch. Who's bullying? Oh! Oh. Oh, she's so cute! She's adorable. You guys, she's adorable. Oh. Oh, they showed it, too. They showed the bite marks. At least his is, like, I guess in the... Well, mm. Yeah, what, what connection does he have with her? Yeah. Uh-oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> what were you saying earlier about your true self, though? Uh-oh! Well, he was psychologically abused, I guess, in this case, also. Ooh. <gasps> oh! Why are you smiling? Oh, what did you do? Ah! No! That's literally what he just did. That fucking smirk. She about to bite your ass again. <laughs> well, she biting like actual finger fingers now. It's not like the palm. Huh? Oh no. Oh no. This is another fucking mom. What the? What the? This is another one of those mothers. Yep. She she threw her away. She's just not suffering as much as Momo's mom. Oh, wait, no. Is she protective? Huh? No. Oh, my God. Please don't. Huh? Oh. Oh, yeah. She's going to have a connection to Toru. They have that, yeah, there's, mmm. Oh. Damn! I was afraid she wouldn't love me anymore. But that's the thing, though. Other people have already seen it. Oh. Ooh, the faces. The faces are getting grimmer and grimmer the further in I get. Let go of her. Can you let go? Let go. Come on, girl. Oh. 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 Oh, she turned back. Okay, naked, though. Naked. Oh. Oh, she's adorable. Oh, yeah. Toru's like a fucking angel sent to this family. What? Envy her. <gasps> oh! Oh, wow. 
You pushing, you pushing. Pushing. Yeah, but to well, did Toru overcome it or? Yeah, Toru had her mom. I still want to make sure that like this connection is through romance and not just him being thankful. Oh wait, does she like half transform or is this just a thingy? That are they just animating that like that? Okay, they just animated that like that. <laughs> oh, she looks happy about it. Oh, this is so good. That baby needed some love because I feel like the mom. Oh, but you don't. Oh. This is so horrible because the moms are definitely going through it, but the babies don't deserve it. Oh. Ooh, you motherfucker. Oh, wow. Shigure got it. Okay. Oh, okay. Set up, set up. Chives! <laughs> the fucking chives. Yeah, just fucking make it. Oh. Yeah, she has to have a voice actor. So, in a way, are you getting jealous in the background, bitch? You better not. So she does care about her child. She just doesn't know how to deal with... It's like a combination of like dealing with like actually raising a child and then the Zodiac stuff like mixed into it. It's... I can understand. But it's still no excuse. Oh! Deserves all the happiness. Offended the other students. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, well, I can see that. Good for him, though. But wait a second, like, mm. oh my goodness. All because she just looked at it. Oh, well, you know what? I'm saying that, but you know. There's all kinds of prejudice and racism everywhere just off of a look, so never mind. Oh, Momiji's like a hardcore empath. Oh my god. You too, Toru! <laughs> Yuki, going, Yuki going through it too. You know what? With like the everything becoming dark, like your mood can really affect like colors and like how you see things that's some real ass shit because i've been through that before oh uh, he's so cool homeroom oh the homeroom teachers the teacher's nice oh the teacher's reaching out it better not be an evil letter yes it's just the curse, which they haven't really gone back and expounded upon, like, the curse curse. Like, how it will... It's the final season right now, so I'm pretty sure that's getting explained. Oh, he is so... He's, he's, he's becoming codependent on Toru. This might, in a way, be also bad. Fuck them. Fuck that teacher. No. No. But. Uh, this isn't. Yeah. I don't think that's appropriate to tell her in this situation. Because the class is the problem. It's not her. What? So they're all helping her. It's not just Toru. This is good. It's nice that they like are helping each other and not just like, you know, every Zodiac is out for himself. I don't know. I think it's a little bit insensitive of the teacher to send something like that, especially when they don't know the situation. And even if they don't know the situation, did they even try to talk to Kisa? Oh. Damn, what the fuck is up with this show and the one-liners? So good. Ugh. Oh! Oh my god. 
Here we go with the healing of the trauma. Toru needs to start charging them. I swear to God, y'all. <gasps> oh! Oh. But you're not a bad person to begin with. You get into a new class or some shit. Can she transfer to a school near there? And start over? Boy, you have been trying. I understand that this was necessary for Kisa's development, but I'm, I'm like, Yuki, until I get more details on you and the Kyo and the Akito stuff, I need you to stop like, woe is me -ing. I'm sorry. Oh, Haru, oh. Aww. Oh, this is so cute. Is this Momiji? Yeah, she coming from work. <gasps> Oh, she's spa. Oh. <laughs> she's crying off the bat. This is. <sighs> yeah, you can't. Okay. Okay, I, I see where this is going. Okay. Okay. Won't be worthless. There we go. All right. Okay, you got a little development. Okay. But I still need someone to talk to that teacher. Wait, is he doing the Akito shit now? She can, and she will. What the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, he's going to... Oh, is he gonna try to, like, get power in the outside world to start, like, shirking off the Somas with his own power that he gets, like, outside? Is that what this is? The, like, this is the foundation for that? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. It's gonna take time, that's okay. I will fight for this child. I will fight for this child. Oh my god. This music is perfect right now, also. Yes, cool, yay! Oh! Fuck them kids! Fuck them kids, girl. So heartwarming, just so good. And like, the fact that she didn't even speak that much during the whole episode, and the whole episode was about her, and just all these, all of these like children, need, well, it's not all children that are the Zodiacs, but all of like the younger Zodiacs, even the older Zodiacs, they need help too. But like, just the mom, this episode, that like look on her face, it's, ah, they do, they do development so fucking well in the show where like, the mom, we didn't even get the mom's name, we just know that that's her mom, but for her to like, I don't know, to like, come through and for her to have that look on her face and then like be there and witness Toru's like convers or have that conversation with Toru and then for the her to show back up later in the episode and be calling checking on her and like letting Toru know like you know her likes and things like that it's like this woman does care about this child but I just I I can't say that I get it because I've never I've never raised a child but it makes it understandable that like you know, they're suffering, but it's not like they're not trying. And it also makes me want to think about like Momiji's mom is like, okay, girl, you got driven to like, almost like kill her. Well, no, she like tried to kill herself, but what like, <laughs> I don't know. I just, was there something else? And I don't want to like victim blame here, but it's just like, did Momiji's mom do everything that she could have? Or was there something else that was like at play? Also, where the fuck was Momiji's dad during all of this? Like, I know that he's like happy in general and like he can visit his dad at the office and stuff like that, but we haven't seen the dad. And I'm kind of worried that the dad is kind of, I don't think he's an asshole. I just think that he realizes what Momiji is going through. We, I don't know, I feel like that hasn't been explored deeply enough. And I feel like it needs to be explored because if we're gonna keep seeing like the mothers and like the differences between the overprotective ones and then there are ones in the middle which can like go either way depending on the situation and then the ones that just like abandon them i want to know like what it took for like the abandoned ones because just thinking about like hattori like if he had had a baby with homegirl oh it would have been over it would have been over. she probably would have killed that baby in her womb or some shit like that like i'm not talking about abortion abortion is you know that's your right do what you want your body i feel like she probably would have been like suffering just like from the thoughts of the child and stuff like that. And I feel like she probably would have done something crazy. Just like Momiji's mom. So. <sighs> At 
this rate? Like, I don't know. Like, who else mama's suffering and like, what's going through? Like, there has to be like somebody being abused. Like, I don't think Yuki's the only one that got abused in this family in the way that he got abused. I think there are some other people out there who've been abused and yeah, all the parents are ass their ass so if you haven't already like comment and subscribe let me know what you thought of the episode yourself no spoilers and that is all thank you for watching bye